In this session, we're going to take a look at spot color printing, or printing with solid colors and tints. We're we'll working with the Simple SEPS 3 plugin, which has the Smart Rip functionality. That is a functionality that will generate your halftones for screen printing. It's a rip, but also gives you a halftone preview that you can see on screen before you print your films out. We call the other rips blind ripping because you can't preview your halftones before you output them. Being able to see them in Corel gives you the ability to have an understanding of what's going to happen on the press before you actually print the films. To get started here, we're going to be working with our Lumberjack graphic, and we're just going to go over some of the features and functions available in the Simple Steps 3 plugin. I want to go here and we'll take a look at the Lumberjack graphic. Pretty basic graphic, all set up as vector. Got a number of different objects here and a number of different colors. And the screen printer is one of the things that we need to be able to do if we get a graphic from a client or a piece of clip art and has many different colors, we need to be able to bring that down to just a few spot colors as quickly as possible. Being in the screen printing industry, we have minutes, not hours, to get our graphics separated and set up. I'm going to go here to the Simple Steps 3 with our Lumberjack selected, and I'm going to do an analysis immediately of how many colors I'm dealing with. You want to make sure that you have the entire graphic or everything that you want the color data on selected, and then just click on Create Selection Palette. That immediately tells me I have 16 colors and 16 tints. Now I can click on and click off of show color names. That gives me the ability to see that I've got in here black and RGB and different colors and different names, and none of these are set up as spot colors or Pantone colors. What I want to do is convert all of these to spot colors and tints of those spot colors to output it as a simple spot color job. To do that, I'll go ahead and click off here of the show color name. I'll just select black, I'll select a golden yellow, the brown, a red, and a white. Now here I can see I've got 64 objects. I really don't want to go through here clicking on this manually. I just want to do a very quick conversion so it'll be ready for screen printing. Save myself the time and I can do that very easily here with the one click conversion. Now what's happened here is that we've generated a couple of different palettes. There's a palette here that is generated called the tint palette and that's all of these different colors that we selected when we did the conversion converted into tints of color and then Simple Steps goes through and uses the closest tint to match the original color. And I can zoom, excuse me, I'll get my eyedropper here, we can zoom in and we can look and we can see here we have 25% of the Pantone 1788C spot color that we're going to use to create the tint of red that looks like our flesh. Now on this color management panel I can also do things like select objects. For example with everything selected here, let's say I wanted to take all of the objects that are at 25% and change them to, say, 20%. I could do that very easily. I could use a color replacer here and set that to both fills, outlines, or just fills and do a replace. Or I could select the objects here that have that fill. So I'll go ahead and click that and I can see now that I have a total of six objects. I could come over here and change that to, let's say, a 20% and make it a little bit lighter, have more control over that tint. I could also go here Go ahead and click off and select that. And you can see I can select the colors in here. And you can select multiple colors just by checking on them. But go ahead and select this again. I'll select all of these objects. And we'll go over here and select a color of, say, instead of 50%, we'll bring this down to 30%. And you can see how I've changed that tint of color. And that's going to change that halftone size. Now, to go ahead and create my separations, once again, very easy, and come here to the Separations tab, we'll go to Halftones here. And I'll go ahead and select on this. And we'll go ahead and actually rip this. We'll also generate and underbase with a choke. And I can see you got my colors here represented and I could change my angles and things like that. Now here because I'm working with the red and the yellow and nothing's really blending, I don't really need to worry about what's going on with my angles. I can select all black if I got all black set up for my inkjet printer for my film output and then I can just very easily click on generate separations, select OK and that'll process. It'll take just a minute for Simple Steps to go through and create each separation plate and a white base as well. And the white base will be perfectly choked, just about one point. Once Simple Steps 3 Smart Rip has finished processing my halftone color separations in Corel Draw, the first thing I'll see is my live halftone preview. This halftone preview is very unique to Simple Steps in that it allows you to see your halftone print or simulation of that directly in Corel Draw. No other ripping software in the market gives you that option along with all of the different color management tools that we have available with the Simple Steps plugin. To create a better looking version of this, I can take this because these are monochrome bitmaps and they don't render very well in the CorelDRAW color engine. 
and we can see our actual halftones there, and we can see how the different sizes of the dots function based on the tints and shades that we're working with. And this is a simple spot color and tint job. We're not doing any blending of color here, but I can take this and go to bitmaps, convert to bitmaps, I'll select RGB, transparent background, anti-aliasing, select OK. Now I gave that a transparent background in case I wanted to put it on a garment or something like that. Now once that's finished rendering, we can see a much more accurate representation of what our halftone print would look like. If we zoom in here, we can see how our dots would actually be creating the illusion of tint or shading and highlighting working with the spot colors through Pantone and generating our separations with simple steps three. On the subsequent pages, we have also, we have here, we have our underbase. And I can actually take this, this is a monochrome bitmap, so I can left click for the foreground color and right click for the background color and change that. Now we'll go ahead and copy this and we'll go to our halftone preview and we can paste this in just to verify and we'll change the color to say a green and zoom in here and we can see we have a perfectly choked white underbase automatically generated. Huge time saver working with simple steps three and then we have our subsequent color separations on the subsequent pages. And we'll just go ahead and click through here and we can see the different color separations. That would be our brown, that would be our black, and that would be our red and we can see the halftones here. Now one of the other unique benefits of working with the simple step system is that we can actually edit these halftones if we want to. We're not doing blind ripping, we're not just sending our halftone films out to our printer. We're actually reviewing them and going over them before we go to press and do our screen printing. A benefit you won't find in any of the other rips available in the screen printing industry at this time, along with all of the color management tools that we have for changing, replacing, and swapping out colors and bringing our color counts down, etc., working with the Simple Steps 3 system. So understanding that and how this all works with the spot colors, we'll go ahead and wrap here. This is just an introduction to spot colors working with Simple Steps 3 and the Smart Rip application, and we'll continue in our next session.